GM CEO is destroying her own company. Despite the massive EV market crash, CEO Mary Barra just made a huge mistake that could lead to GM closing its doors forever. While GM's gas cars were selling in huge numbers, the political leaders stepped in and forced General Motors to go all in on EVs. But ever since then, GM has lost over a billion dollars. Instead of listening to customers, GM listened to the politicians, and now they have some big issues with their EVs that I'll expose in today's video. Could GM close its doors? Why are political leaders forcing companies to make EVs? Are EVs a scam? Here's what exactly happened. GM's CEO Mary Barra just secured a whopping $19 billion deal with LG to secure critical battery stuff like nickel. They're setting up shop in what they're calling America's biggest cathode factory in Tennessee, and they're not planning to take it slow either. By 2026, they want this LG chem plant to be cranking out batteries like there's no tomorrow. Now all this must be sounding good so far, but wait till you hear the full story. While Mary Barra is continuously spending more and more on GM's EV division, in reality, their company is literally on the brink of collapse. Nobody wants to buy GM's EVs anymore, and in a minute, I'm gonna tell you five shocking fatal flaws Mary Barra has been hiding from all of us. Now let's look at some scary numbers because they paint the real picture. GM's EV sales have taken a nosedive. They sold just 15,652 electric cars in Q2 of 2023, down from 20,670 in Q1. Forget the math, I gotcha, that's a 24% drop. And when you compare that to Tesla's whopping 466,140 EVs sold in the same period, GM's numbers are like a drop in the ocean. And let's not even get started on the labor strikes. GM's already feeling the pinch with an $800 million cut in earnings this year, thanks to workers walking off the job. There was a time when GM was losing about $200 million every week due to these strikes. There was also news that even Tesla CEO Elon Musk made a huge mistake that caused the prices of used Teslas to go down by nearly 40% in a week, but more on that in a minute. Due to poor sales, GM had to stop production of EVs like the Equinox EV, Silverado EV, and GMC Sierra EV. It's like the whole lineup has been put in a timeout. Last week, they even announced they're slowing down EV truck production near Detroit because, surprise, surprise, there's not as much interest as they thought. Most of GM's EV sales are thanks to the Chevy Bolt and EUV, which are actually on their way out. They're retiring these models because, well, they're just not cutting it anymore. The new kids on the block, the Ultium EVs, only managed to sell 6,918 units in Q4. That's mere peanuts compared to what their competitors are doing. For some perspective, Hyundai sold more than double that with just two of their EV models. And the Cadillac Lyric, which was supposed to be this big deal, you know, only sold 3,820 units. Even the hyped-up GMC Hummer EVs are lagging with just 2,028 units sold. So what's the big picture? GM's total EV sales for 2023 were 75,883, which is only about 2.9% of their total sales volume. And let's not forget, most of that heavy lifting was done by the soon-to-be-gone Bolt models. Now you might be thinking, okay, the market's crashing, so gas cars must also be taking a dive too, right? Wrong! Shockingly enough, GM's car sales have been off the records. Their gas car sales have been paying to keep the company alive. Hear me out. Even though they had a bad financial year, GM managed to make over $10 billion in profits due to their gas-powered pickups. In the last part of 2023, GM's sales shot up by 41% compared to the year before. Toyota, their biggest rival, couldn't keep up, and even Ford's EV sales are more than double. It's like everyone suddenly decided they wanted a gas car again. But despite all this, Mary Barra is hell-bent on not lowering the price of their electric cars. She says they should remain optimistic, but chooses to ignore the numbers. Oh, and let's not forget the nightmare called Cruise. It's GM's self-driving car project that's been more than a headache than a dream, costing them a whopping $2.7 billion last year. It's not just GM feeling the heat, though. Volkswagen and Toyota are in the same boat, making all sorts of excuses for their lackluster EV sales. Get this, VW is blaming, quote, customer reluctance, end quote. And Toyota is still trying to sell everyone on their diversified approach with a new engine that gives 1,000 miles of range, which uses ammonia, and more on this towards the end of the video. Now let me talk about these five critical issues that you must know about for the sake of your own safety, even though you might not be planning to buy an electric vehicle. First up on the list of electric nightmares is the infamous battery fire issue. Picture this, you're driving along, feeling all eco-friendly and futuristic, 
when out of nowhere, your ride decides to turn into a bonfire on wheels. These aren't your average campfires either. We're talking about intense blazes that can make a marshmallow think twice. The problem lies in the lithium ion batteries that power these beasts. They're like divas with a temper, and when they get hot under the collar, things can go south real fast. It's a serious issue that's been causing sleepless nights for both car owners and firefighters alike. Then there's the range problem, the electric equivalent of running out of gas in the middle of nowhere. You see these EVs promise to take you far and wide, but sometimes they overpromise and underdeliver. Imagine planning a road trip to only realize your car's range is more of a rough estimate than a guarantee. Even the $80,000 electric BMWs are only giving you 200 miles of range, and this only gets worse in the real world. And don't even get me started on the charging problems in cold weather. It seems like these electric chariots weren't made for the winter. First up, you'll notice that the range of your car drops nearly 40% faster. Most cars can't even charge properly in winters, meaning you might have to spend twice as long in long lines waiting for your car to charge. According to a recent report from Consumer Reports, EVs are having a bit of a rough time. They've found that electric cars have nearly 80% more problems than their gas-powered cousins. Yes, rewind it, you heard me right, 80%. Now before you think hybrids are the way to go, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles or PHEVs are in an even tighter spot, with almost 150% more issues than traditional cars. Regular hybrid cars like the Prius seem to be doing quite well, with about a quarter fewer problems than gas-powered vehicles. This whole situation is a bit of a pickle, especially considering there's a juicy federal tax credit of up to $7,500 for just buying an EV. And with car makers rolling out new EV models left and right, you'd think we'd be in calmer waters by now. But nah, consumers are hesitating to make the switch, partly due to these reliability issues and partly because EVs can be pricier to maintain and need extra gear like a home charging port. Jake Fisher from Consumer Reports calls it growing pains, which kind of makes sense. It's all about ironing out the kinks of new tech, right? The survey they did covered over 330,000 vehicles from the past couple of decades up to the fresh 2024 models. And it turns out, EV owners are mainly having a rough time with battery and charging systems, not to mention some fit and finish issues with body panels and interiors. GM's been in the headlines, but for all the wrong reasons. They're recalling a whopping 323, 232,000 vehicles because of a tailgate issue that might just swing open while you're cruising down the highway. Imagine that. We're talking about some serious road hazard drama with models like the Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra caught in the mix. But GM is not alone in this hot mess. The recall party's pretty packed with other big names like Ford, Chevrolet, BMW, Mitsubishi, and Chrysler sending out invites. All in all, the US government had to step in with recalls for around 1.3 million vehicles. From faulty child seat latches in over 668,000 Chevy and GMC SUVs to rear view camera glitches in around 90,000 Mitsubishi Outlanders. It's like a domino effect of oopsies. Ford's got its own drama with over 422,000 SUVs facing the music for rear view camera issues and BMWs recalling nearly 100,000 minis over some electronic control module that might just decide to short circuit because of corrosion. And let's not forget Chrysler's Jeep Grand Cherokee's missing airbag warnings on the deck. So what's the deal here? It seems like EVs and their hybrid cousins are going through some serious growing pains. And after we've had all these problems, for a small moment, Mary Barra even cut production, but seeing Tesla's increasing sales, she got impatient and made the jump again. Speaking of Tesla, even Tesla made a huge blunder, which led to Elon Musk's company taking an $80 billion loss in just one week. Now let's talk about the bomb Elon Musk dropped. The guy basically said that there's this Chinese company, BYD, which is crushing it in the EV game thanks to some sweet deals from their government. And just like that, Tesla stock took a deep dive, so deep it's resting at the bottom with the Titanic. We're talking $80 billion gone, poof, just like that. So then what option do we have left? Well, only the Japanese seem to be doing the right thing. That is, focusing on more options instead of going all in on EVs. I'm talking about engines like ammonia, hydrogen, and even solar-powered cars offering impressive range. But unlike these brands, who think about the public instead of listening to politicians, GM's CEO is making one mistake after another, and this will only lead to something really bad for GM's future. 
the road to the future should not just be about forcing the common man to buy EVs, but instead offering more options and making cheaper EVs. It's high time that brands understand this. So what's the takeaway here? Maybe it's time we all spoke up, told the car makers and the big shots in charge that we're not just gonna go along with whatever they decide. We need options, man, not just a one-way street to EV town. What do you think? Are EVs a scam? Are we not ready for EVs? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.